Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing good today. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about blushes. These are my favorite or best blushes. If you have uh, tan skin tones, if you have dark skin tones or if you have Indian medium skin tones. So this is these all of my recommendations are going to suit you. The formulas are really, really great. So before jumping on with the video, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And if you aren't subscribed, I would love if you could subscribe so that we can be friends and we can hang out with each other twice or thrice each week. So yeah, let's get started on with the video. So I have actually four uh, liquid blushes and four powder blushes and yeah i have quite a variety of blushes here so that it's easier for you guys to have options and choose from these if you like them so yeah let's start on with my first blush which is the deborah milano blush now this is a recent purchase and this is new to my collection so this blush is actually so beautiful it's a powder blush so this is in the shade Biscuit and as you can see this has a peachy undertone to it like this is a peachy uh, blush which has a brown undertone to it so it's like a peachy brown shade which looks so stunning. This is what I have on my cheeks right now. I have another blush underneath this which I'm going to talk about. So yeah this blush is something that I pull out whenever I don't have to think about what uh, blush I'm putting like this blush goes with every eye look and it just looks stunning it it's a matte blush so if you are thinking that it's going to look very cakey or anything as such it doesn't do that at all it glides on the skin really really well and it gives that yes it gives that matte look of course it's definitely not drying so if you have dry skin definitely you can apply this also also i have dry skin but i really love this and for powder blush i normally tend to choose matte formulas rather than shimmery ones so yeah this has been a great staple in my collection and whenever i'm doing any eye look no matter what if it's a brown tone look if it's a cool tone look it doesn't matter i always grab this blush and it just complements my skin tone so well so the next blush is also a recent purchase this is the hina henna beauty lush robe and this is in the shade russet now this shade is so beautiful i have to like I I just have to say that this shade is the perfect blush I always want in my collection period I just love this mm -hmm. and I do have to say that the formula is spectacular it's really amazing it's not something that you can get to see in a lot of liquid blush it definitely is not way too hydrating like it's not way too glowy way too dewy uh, it is going to suit every single skin tone I feel like yes it is a liquid blush but it looks so good on the skin it's definitely not on the drying side at all and it stays on for hours and generally liquid blushes whenever you apply them it doesn't stay on for that long but this one does and one main thing I, I like about this is that you can use this blush as your eyeshadow you can use this blush as your lipstick and just go out the door if you are in a hurry if you are someone who likes that minimal makeup kind of a look I do think that this is going to be a staple in your collection this retails for around 900 rupees and if you use my code which is arnakshi10 you get 10% off but this is not an affiliate code Code, which means that I don't earn anything not even a single penny when you use my code this is just for you guys also I got this blush uh, like fully with my own money this is like an own like with my own money yeah whatever <laughs> what am I saying yeah so this blush I got with my own money I wasn't sent or anything as such so yeah you can see how much I love this blush it just looks very beautiful until and unless you try this formula out you I cannot explain how beautiful this formula is the color is they have other different colors also but this shade honestly i cannot get over how beautiful this shade is so the next blush i have is this one this is the vetinen italy blush and it's in the shade coral now you can get this on amazon and this one retails for around 700 rupees um i really love this blush a lot too so this blush actually i got in pr like two years back two year, two years yeah one year back i got this and i just thought that this brand is so underrated i really love their formulas a lot a lot and i have been loving this blush 
for the longest time and I use this as my eyeshadow all the time whenever I have to do a quick look I always pull this out I just use this as my eyeshadow so that is something that I really like you can use this as your uh, whenever you're doing your warm toned looks you can use this as a transition shade for your eyeshadow and it looks good I do have to say that this is a little bit pigmented it's on the pigmented side so whenever you're applying this blush make sure that you are tapping your brush and then you're applying it but the shade is so beautiful um, I cannot describe the shade it's it's a coral but again it has a warm undertone to it uh, it has a brownish tones to it as well so that it looks very very flattering on our skin tones also I do have to say that it is purely a matte blush it doesn't have any shimmer to it it doesn't have any glitter to it it's just a pure matte blush which looks really good and it's not something that going to look cakey or patchy it's just a very good blush so the next blush i have is again a liquid blush this is the a Kiss Beauty liquid blush and it's in the shade 02. Now I have actually uh, reviewed about this blush a lot on my channel like reviewed and included it in my favorites too. Um, this blush is again a liquid blush but it is very easy to use. It has a spatula to it and this shade is so beautiful. This shade is like a total peachy shade. It doesn't have any brown undertone to it at all whatsoever it's straight up peach and it just looks very flattering again on the skin tone i normally uh, don't like straight up peachy blush because i feel like it can wash my skin tone or it can wash me out but this one doesn't and you can layer these blushes too you can layer this kiss beauty uh, liquid blush sometimes whenever you're applying liquid blush uh, if it's not pigmented you can definitely layer it so i tend to layer this up uh, twice and it just looks very good again it's uh, it's formula is really great even if you have oily skin i do think that you are going to like it it's not definitely not on the matte side it's not on too dewy side as well so that is why i just feel like it's like the perfect in between kind of a blush that everybody can use so, mm -hmm. so the next blush i have is actually it's not a blush um actually it is a color corrector i know just don't click off the video i'm going to explain you why i'm using this as a blush so for a color corrector i got it and i don't use color correctors anymore i don't have to thankfully so uh actually what i was looking for in a color corrector like what we normally look for is it to be very emollient it to blend out really really well like on our under eyes but this is not that emollient it's not as emollient as we want we would want in a concealer in a color corrector so I have actually started to use this as a blush like uh, after a few like after trying it out on my under eyes I didn't like it and then I saw the shade is so beautiful and I was searching for a blush in my makeup drawer and then I just came across this and I put it as my blush and it worked so well from that on I have been using it as a blush it has a very orange peachy undertone but it's not straight up peach it has a little bit of brown undertone to it as well which actually really really flatters our skin tone it just really looks good it looks like your skin is naturally sun-kissed and it just looks very natural again the formula is really great as a blush and this also is very very inexpensive it retails for around 120 rupees um, so yeah, I really love this a lot. The formula, the blendability, it really blends really nicely in your skin, but it doesn't blend away at the same time. Sometimes if a blush is too emollient, it can blend away. But since it's not that emollient, it doesn't blend away. And I would just recommend you to get this and try it out as a blush if you are someone who is interested in cream blushes i definitely would recommend you to try it out for once see if you like it or not see if you are into cream blushes or not and then because it is a really really good formula and also 
I it's not formulated or it's not marketed as a blush but it works really really well uh, so this is the blush that I have underneath my Deborah blush which is this this I have uh, it underneath and then I applied this blush so you can apply this underneath your powder blushes you can apply this as your own too um, I was a little iffy on uh, recommending this to you guys but I just thought why not you know since it's so affordable it works so well for me so I just wanted to recommend you even if it's a color corrector so the next blush I have here is this SFR matte blush and this is the shade that I'm going to be talking about today and this is in the color 01 so these blushes are very very cheap it's very affordable it's like 120 rupees it retails for around that price and this shade I have to say is the most beautiful peachy shade I have it doesn't have any brown undertone to it it's straight up peachy uh, shade and I have to say that sometimes peachy shade without a brown undertone can look a little a little too much a little unnatural on our cheeks especially if you have a brown skin tone but this blush looks so good um, the pink one is also good but I just don't tend to go for pink blushes that much but this shade is the most beautiful peachy shade I do not have this kind of a peach in my collection like this uh, this shade and this shade is identical except this one is in a you know a liquid form and this is uh, in a uh, matte and a powder form so if you are someone who likes matte blushes like total matte blushes without any shimmer this is going to suit you very well if you have dry skin i don't know if you're going to like this or not some i do have dry skin and i really like this uh sometimes i don't if I, my skin is too dry then i just opt for a liquid blush but when my skin isn't that dry i really really like this a lot i just pop this on my cheeks it, it instantly make my cheeks look very healthy very flushed and yeah it's a really great blush you definitely get to with the price of 120 so that's a steal if you are someone who likes pink blush you are going to get a use out of this too but i just get use out of this blush a lot it's yeah it's on the pigmented side i do have to say it's on the pigmented side and you can definitely use this as an eyeshadow too but yeah for a blush i really really love this a lot the shade looks just perfect so the next liquid blush I have here is the O2O liquid blush. It's in the shade 06. So I got this for, from Amazon and I don't know they are not restocking this I feel like and I have done like a full on dedicated review on this blush too. So this is my best liquid blush when it comes to that dewy finish to it. I really love how this looks on the skin. It just looks very dewy. It looks like your skin drank a glass of water and it's very healthy. Has just the natural flush. If you are on the oily type of skin, you know, I don't necessarily think you will like this. You may like this paired with, with a powder blush, but alone i just feel like you may not like this but if you have dry skin oh boy this is going to be your new favorite like just go out there and get, purchase this blush it doesn't have any shimmer to it it doesn't have anything it's a pure liquid matte blush that gives you a very dewy finish to the skin it just looks perfect and i just feel like you know this blush is very underrated and i just i just don't know why this blush is So yeah, this blush is one of my favorite. Again, when I have a very like, you know, dry, dry skin days, I pull this baby out and it just makes my skin look again perfect. So the last blush I'm going to talk about is my favorite powder blush, period. Whatever powder blushes I talked about are obviously my favorites. That's why I discussed this with you guys. But this is the most, my most worn, my most favorite powder blush ever. So this is the SFR Pure Color Blusher in the shade Naked Apricot and this is how the shade looks like. First of all, the packaging is so cute. I cannot get over how beautiful the packaging is. But the product in here, so when I got this blush, I really like a very matte blush as you guys know. Um, as for my powder blushes, I don't like there to be any shimmer to it, any sheen to it. So when this arrived, I saw that this has a little bit of shimmer to it. So I was like a little disappointed because I don't like shimmer. 
but when you put this on your cheeks honestly uh, this is one of the best powder blushes ever and it just makes your skin look so healthy I don't know how this makes my skin look so glowy without having any shimmer like like whenever I put this I cannot see any shimmer at all you cannot see any visible shimmer any visible glitter at all and that's what like you know that's why I'm attracted to this blush so much because I cannot see any visible shimmers at all and that definitely is one of my favorite blushes because it's, this makes my skin look so good and it's a powder blush so I normally tend to you know go for the dewy blush on when I'm using a liquid blush but with a powder blush this just makes my skin look very very good also it's very uh, affordable too i think i got this for 140 rupees you all should definitely try this blush totally even if you don't like shimmer blushes uh, this doesn't have any shimmer to it but it makes your skin look very very healthy and you do not even need a highlighter with this blush so i don't know how they do it i haven't seen this kind of formula even like in high-end blushes i haven't seen this formula anywhere at all it's very unique it's very good and for the price i just i don't think nothing can beat this so i think that was everything for today's blush video i hope you guys liked it i am someone like i feel like i applied blush a little too much and i applied this in this kind of direction like you know like this w kind of a thing where i feel like i look very sun kissed and I, I just love applying blush a lot and i feel like 2020 is the year where we all started to fall in love with blush again and i just feel like instagram filters were a huge thing for that too because you know of the whole this kind of the instagram filter has this uh, blush kind of effect so anyway i really love blushes a lot i do not think i can do my makeup ever again without a blush and these are all my favorites i do have quite other favorites as well but i already discussed those in my previous video so yeah i really have been loving all of these and if you want to check them out i will definitely leave links in the comments down below so yeah i will see you guys in my next video also if you're new to this channel or if you like the content here thank you so much for hanging out with me today also subscribe because you can see my face twice or thrice each week so yeah let's uh let's let's i was about to say let's get started <laughs> uh i love you all so much bye bye take care